We're a startup company um, super, doing super cool liquid metal soldering for the next generation of electronic devices. And uh, on the next slide, we make these super cool liquid metal micro capsules. It's really a breakthrough solution that allows us to solder at temperatures below the melting point of any solder metal alloy. So what they are really is regular solder metal alloys like SAC 305, like this tin. They're familiar, well known in the industry. We can encapsulate them in these micro capsule forms. So inside this core shell structure is regular solder metal alloys, but we have a proprietary shell. It's a nanofilm on the surface of that micro capsule, and that keeps it in its molten, melted liquid state. <clears throat> and now that allows us to reflow that metal, liquid metal can, can uh, come out of the shell and wet with other little microcapsules, can wet substrates, can flow out, and eventually turn solid and to form a solder joint from that exact solder metal alloy with the same melting point and similar microstructures and properties of that bulk metal alloy. So this is a platform technology that we can, on the next slide, really extend the processing range of different solder metals. Now we've targeted SAC 305 and bismuth tin, and we're bringing SAC 305 down from that normal high plus 240 degrees Celsius temperature down to LTS, low temperature soldering range. It's normally dominated by bismuth tin based solders. And then on the other side, we're doing bismuth tin, which has a lower um, melting point, and we're putting that squarely in this electronically conductive adhesive processing range of 110 to 120 degrees Celsius. So it's a really the ability to uh, change the uh, processing temperature but still get the metal alloy that you understand and that you like for the right properties at the end. And on the, the next slide, we have uh, cross sections of what solder joints actually look like using our technology. So this is SAC 305, super cool liquid metal microcapsules being soldered to a SAC 305 based all grid array at 180 degrees Celsius. And we can do this as low as 165, but this is 40 degrees Celsius below the melting point of SAC 305. And we're getting, on the next slide, slide five, we're getting the our material to wet a non-collapsed SAC 305 solder ball. So that SAC in the solder ball doesn't melt, but our metal, because it's in that molten liquid already melted state at 180, it can wet it, it can form a solder joint, and it can wet the underlying copper contact pad. So from uh, the everything that's needed in a solder joint, from coalescence, the wetting of solder balls, the forming of intermetallic compounds, we can do with super cool liquid metal microcapsules of a well-known, uh, well-used alloy in SAC at 180 degrees Celsius. And we've taken these assemblies and we've sent them out for external, valid, uh, external validation. And after some thermal shock testing, minus 40 to 110, a thousand cycles of it, every one of these uh, assembled BGA uh, solder joints is uh, conducted with no failures. And that's because it's a true metallurgical solder joint. Between, it's a diffusion between our material and the SAC 305 ball. And it's that IMC formation on slide six between our tin-based solder and SAC and the copper-based substrate on the bottom forming a classic copper six, tin five, intermetal compound, well-known, well-understood, expected to be formed, but at about two and a half micrometers in average thickness of the IMC. So that's on the lower end, but still uh, reliable on solder joint. But uh, besides SAC 305, SAFI Tech can on, on slide 7 do bismuth tin, which is um, a low temperature solder. And we can bring that down to 110, and we can do that to solder rigid components to silver traces on PET at 110. Um, and on slide 8, which is the final slide, form a filleted solder structure between a rigid component and that flexible silver trace on PET, giving classic bismuth tin microstructure on that solder joint in the bottom images and actually wetting uh, the copper and uh, joining to that, sorry, joining to the silver um, printed material there on the bottom. Uh, so that's just a snapshot of, of SAFI Tech. So me and Darren will be in exhibit room four to answer any of your questions.